This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. State court exonerates a Texan already freed by a DNA test. According to the Associated Press, Texas Courts of Criminal Appeals has formally exonerated a former grocery store manager who was wrongly convicted of beating his wife to death and spent nearly 25 years in prison. Michael Morton was freed from prison last week after DNA testing not available during his 1987 trial linked the killing of his wife, Christine, and the 1988 killing of another woman to a fugitive with a long criminal record. The appeals court ruling Wednesday upheld the decision to free Morton, formally declared him innocent, and nullified all the charges he had faced. Authorities have not publicly identified the man suspected of killing the two women, but have said he has a criminal record in several states. The Associated Press reports Houston police say two men have been found shot to death in what appears to be a murder and a suicide. Police say a neighbor at the condominium complex heard gunfire late Tuesday night and called 911. Sergeant Kevin Toll says one body was discovered upstairs at the residence. Tolls says it appears the fatal shots were fired by the man whose body was discovered downstairs. Police are trying to determine what led to an apparent argument before the shootings. Names of the men were not immediately released Wednesday. From KHOU News, fishermen in Galveston Bay are dealing with the worst white shrimp season in memory, and many are blaming the state's record drought. At Hillman Seafood in Dickinson, management says bay shrimp production was down 80% from last year. The season started August 15th. Each year it's getting worse and worse and worse, said fisherman Jack Morris, who pointed to the grass that's been clogging his nets. He suspects the lack of fresh water due to the drought has either thrown off shrimp's reproductive cycle or manipulated underwater vegetation so that his nets can't capture the shrimp. Besides the drought, other fishermen think it could be the aftermath of the BP oil spill, dumb luck, or just a cyclic phenomenon. So far, shrimp prices have remained steady. That could be because import from overseas and other parts of the Gulf have prevented higher shrimp prices. But according to a recent New York Times report, other fishermen in the Gulf, especially Louisiana, are dealing with their own shrimp shortages. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.